All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And this time we're looking at a mod, uh, a modded in truck, uh, an American truck for that matter, which is the Kensworth K100 cab over truck. Now, I tried this mod originally when it first came out, and it actually just didn't work. And, and by, I, I guess by the time I had gotten into Euro Truck, uh, it didn't work. And it really hasn't worked, I guess, for a while. Um, or I haven't been keeping track of it. I recently was just like skimming through mods and I found this, which is actually version 2.4. And I decided to try it uh, because it actually had a fairly recent release. I don't know if it was released September or October, but I'm pretty sure it was one of the two. And anyways, um, I decided to check it out and it works. Uh, you buy this truck at a DAF dealership. It is a standalone truck. It doesn't replace anything. It's a standalone truck. You buy it at a DAF dealership, and I will show you that real quick. Now, I just, I'm doing this video after I just finished a haul uh, with, this, um, with this truck. So what I say in those videos are going to seem a little off timeline-wise, but that's why. It's because I'm uploading this video before I upload the haul, so... Um, you see, and here it is right here, K100, uh, it, it's originally a 6x4 short, you can mod that, uh, left-handed, 350 horsepower engine to start, um, I'm not going to go over everything, it's got, you know, 910 liters of fuel, uh, but, you know, that's it, that's the, that's the basic truck. And you buy it for 52626 I know American trucks don't take a lot to buy, like, versus the other trucks. But whatever the case may be. And the reason I was really interested in this truck is it's a cab over. And I love cab over trucks. You know? I love them more than the, than the nose trucks, which is why I love Euro Truck Simulator 2 so much. Is because it's, uh, all the trucks are cab over. You can mod in, like, the newer trucks that have, like, noses and all that. But... Um, this one, you know, you get a cab over. So I've been really, 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 really uh, interested to do this. And it's an amazing truck. Now, 350 horsepower is actually kind of uh, meh to start. But don't underestimate this truck. And I'm going to go over some of the mods with you. And then I'll give you the final breakdown of it. Uh, I already have it at a garage. So, um, let's, uh, let's enter the garage and we'll go, uh, to the upgrade shop. All right. So you have two choices for cabs, standard and aerodyne. Now, um, I'm pretty sure these come from something else, but the standard gives you this. Uh, you have the small sleeper with a short, uh, chassis, which is what you saw. Or the aerodyne, which gives you this monster. Gives you the big roomy sleeper in the back and uh, gives you the long chassis uh, 6x4. And also gives you almost 1,200 liters of fuel with these two big tanks. Um, unfortunately, this, this version, as you can see here, zoom in on the windshield. Nice, clean, clear, beautiful, pretty windshield. Cracked. I don't know why. That's just how it is. Um... So you can mod that. You can't mod the chassis at all. You know, the chassis with the cap. You do have different versions of the engine. The most powerful engine, which I have installed, is a 550 horsepower, 410 kilowatt, 2,508 newton meters at 1,200 RPM. Now, that's going to sound pretty weak compared to a lot of the higher-end trucks. I mean, you're looking into, um, you know, I guess you could say just fairly weak standard uh, engines but don't underestimate it because it's not just the engine that makes a difference and I'll, I'll get into that more with this the transmission I don't know about these transmissions Eastern Fuller or FS and all that I went straight down to the bottom to the most powerful transmission this is an 18 speed transmission all right you'll be in like 10th gear doing 40 kilometers all right so, that is a major, 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 major difference. 
I just finished hauling a 62 ton tank with this and it did fine. Granted, I had to go down the third gear going up steep climbs on a mountain, but that's to be expected. And it still did it. Otherwise, it did other hills and whatnot uh, it, amazingly well. It did good starting off. You won't win any races in this truck, but, oh man, it's, it's just awesome. You know, it, it's surprising just how much pull this truck has. So don't let the engine fool you, because it fooled me. The interior, there's nothing you can mod in the interior. There's nothing you can touch at all in here, unfortunately. Uh, paint, there's only flat paints. You may be able to find uh, modded skins for this specifically. I haven't been able to. But there's Coco Brown, Dark uh, Scarlet, which is the default color uh, when you buy it. Deep Aquamarine, uh, Deep Basalt, uh, Gamboge Gray, Perfect White, Royal Gray, and then what I have is Black Knight. You can mod um, some things on the outside. You can mod the tires, and I actually have a, a mega mod in here, and most of them don't work, so I get like all kinds of uh, <laughs> ridiculous tire choices. And I know I'm not going to click on them because I don't want to go through and find which tire I have. All right, it's the Bridgestone Chrome. So you know, bam. <laughs> you see, <laughs> America. Actually, that's pretty cool. And then we have America, and then Bridgestone Chrome, Goodyear Chrome. Man, I didn't know. I didn't know this. Oh, I, I didn't know those. If I'd known those, I'd probably have modded those on there. Michelin Chrome. I like Goodyear Chrome. Can I do Goodyear Chrome here too? Yeah. J just pardon me while I while I do this. Uh, Volvo, there's, uh, Peterbilt tires, DAF, Goodyear Chrome. That looks really weird, but I'm going to do it anyways. Wish I had known this before, uh, America 2 is pretty awesome as well, but I like the Chrome. So, yeah, um... You can mod the wheels. You can mod the bull bar on the front. Uh, you can have standard paint. Chrome. This is the one I like. Just plain, simple, big bumper with lights across the bottom. Chrome with grill. And you can, you can mod the smaller lights on here like I have. But it doesn't quite look right. And modding the bigger lights on here just didn't seem right either. And then this version where you can mod small lights and then big lights in here. But again, I just couldn't make it come out right. It looks pretty cool. But I honestly like this. This is more reminiscent of a lot of the trucks that I know. Um, this is really more reminiscent of a lot of the trucks that I know. Um, you can put a single, uh, as you can see here, um, light on top of it, beacon for hauling. And you can put, I don't know why I don't have one up here. Oh, it's because I was switching back and forth. I actually had that up there. Um, a little foil on it. You can have it chrome, which you know doesn't match most, or paint like I have. And that's it. That's pretty much all you can mod on this. Uh, a couple things, like I said, is the crack windshield. And, you know, this guy, you get a co-pilot. And he's just creepy. I mean... Who did you kill lately? You know? And he sits on his computer all day um, on Reddit. On a version of Reddit, anyways. So, yeah. Can I zoom in through the truck? Yeah, I can't, but it messes everything up. Alright, enough of that. So, yeah, it's a really awesome uh, mod truck. Um, confirm order. Actually, I, I, I actually haven't taken it to the paint shop. I wonder if there's anything different in there. Because sometimes there is. Uh, royal gray. Uh, I can customize a color if I want to. So I can make it purple. Or there's express. Which is two types of blue. Oh, that just controls that. And then you can control the... So, you know, you can customize your color. 
Because, see, I normally don't take them to the paint shop. Yeah. Actually, like, like, kind of a dark green. Yeah, that's what I like. Now, this truck sounds really awesome. All right, listen, listen to the startup. Yeah. You hear that? Let's pop outside and hear it. And it has a really awesome... Oops, I'm sorry, wrong button. It has a really awesome gear down sound as well. Oops, I put the brake on. So, let me back it up. Man, can you hear that? That engine. Let's see if we can get a little speed going somewhere. And I'll show you the, uh, the gear down. I know I didn't look. It's risky. I'll show you the slowdown. Won't be too much, but... Just, just listen to this. Yeah? I'm going to pull off the side here. Hopefully not too much. Pretty close. So, it's got an awesome gear down sound. It's got an awesome um, engine starting sound. The transmission's 18 gears. It takes a little bit to get used to. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. We'll light her up. You know, there's not many lights on it. There's no air horn. So, that kind of sucks. But, oh, I forgot to put the lights back on the chrome bumper. That's all right. Uh, I can do that later. But, you know, I don't know what else to say about it. It's a great mod truck. And I really seriously recommend you go out and get it if you want a good cab over American truck in your game and give it a shot. But I will give one word of caution. So hopefully you're still watching this video because <laughs> I should have done this sooner. I will give one word of caution. If you're using truck sim mod, be careful taking it to Africa. I don't know if it's a specific mod that I had that caused it or if it's just TSM and this mod, but I would took it low to Africa and I just crashed. I got maybe 10 minutes into the drive and just crashed. I found a way around that crash. Five minutes later, I crashed again. I got past that crash. Ten minutes later, I crashed again. And it's just crash after crash after crash after crash after crash. And that's just what's going to happen. You're going to suffer. You're, you're going, you know, it's not worth it. So if you get this mod and you're using Truck Sim Map, keep it in Europe. You know, you can keep it, uh, and I don't know if I can show you the whole map. But yeah, you know, this area here seems to work fine. All of this area here works fine. I'm pretty sure like all of this and this will work fine. Just, and, and probably even over here, because this is all done, you know, with all this European backdrop. Just stay out of this area. Stay out of the African area, and you shouldn't have a problem. That still gives you all this to drive. And if you're using vanilla map, then pff, you're fine. And if you're using pro mods, that's probably fine as well. I've never tried pro mods. I don't want to go through the hassle of getting the TSM out, putting the pro mods in, and then, you know, maybe it messes up my game, whatever. I can do it on another profile if I want to. We'll see. But honestly, yes, definitely, seriously, get this mod, try it, drive it. You won't be disappointed. That's going to be me done for this one, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, this uh, little quick description of the Kensworth K100 version 2.4. Uh, as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you and as much as I really love driving this truck. Until next time, this is One Big Bugger signing out, and I'll see you on the road.